y'all, it's Abby and I am back with a dollar store haul. I kind of went crazy this time. It's been a while since I went to Sedia and they had a lot of new stuff and I stocked up. First thing I have is a pile of stickers here and the Christmas stuff was out. And these are epoxy stickers, which I usually try to avoid, but I thought for Christmas I'll be wrapping stuff and packaging stuff and they'll look cute on cards and things. So not ideal for journaling for me anyway, but I, I just couldn't resist the rainbow. I did get some metallic foil ones too. These will be cute for journaling anything. And then there were these little cozy snowmen. They're called fluffy snowmen. And they're just chilling, doing wintry things. And I thought this one was cute because they look like stamps. And then, I, this is just like normal sticker stuff that I hadn't seen before, some galaxy ones. I really like the colors and the white outline. I thought that was really pretty. And then some petal stickers. They had these in a larger size as well, but I thought the little ones were good. And these are all the rage. Um, I believe they come from like Korean Idol card decorating. I don't know all the terms and stuff, but I have been seeing them a lot on YouTube and Instagram and stuff, and they have these stickers everywhere. So since I am now a card collector, apparently, I thought maybe maybe we'll give it a go because there's so many fun supplies. And also, could just use these on letters and stuff, which is another thing I want to get back to in 2023. Always excited to see fun alphabet stickers. And they came in a rainbow of colors. So of course, I got all of them. And they had one of the Japanese alphabet, but it was only in purple, so I just got these. Here are just some little tiny stickers. You guys know I love the little stickers. And these will just be cute to put on things. Some more cute animals. I just thought the bear in the mask was kind of cute. And it's perfect for the season in the winter because everyone wears masks, but the little checkies, Polaroids. Excuse my dogs. They are very hyper right now. And these I think are supposed to be for the card decorating as well. I thought they looked cool. And then some Chikawa stickers, which apparently I am now a fan of. Even though it's actually my friend, not me. But, you know, anything my friends like, I like too. So yeah, I actually have a big pile of stickers that kind of haven't made them into hauls and haven't made them into my sticker books. So you guys know I've been talking about 24 days of something something for December. Honestly, I think it's going to be 24 days of like organizing and de-stashing. So we'll be going through my collections and my toy cases and stuff and yeah, so you'll be seeing a lot more stickers probably and I may rethink my sticker organization. I finally got my hands on some Spy Family clear card line bags. These are the singles and we're missing quite a few still so cross your fingers and hopefully we'll get some new ones. Apparently there is a wave two, series two coming out next month. I think it's December so we'll, it would be nice to complete this set before we start on series two. But yeah I'm thinking maybe I'll make, I mean, I'm thinking maybe we'll have a set card blind bag day maybe on Mondays. Maybe we'll have like a card day, gotcha day, and then blind box day? How does that sound? And then like hauls like this will be kind of filler videos and stationary and journaling when I feel like it maybe? I don't know, I don't know. I did nab two more of these, the JJK clear cards. I do have some that are unopened, I think I have like 10 or so. So these are getting hard to find as well. I opened a full box of the first one. I have that video up if you haven't seen it yet, but we're still working on series two. We haven't really opened many series two ones. As far as blind bags go, I think that's it for today. I found some cute glittery sleeves. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but it was 100 yen for 20 and you can never have too many sleeves. Maybe I'll put my spy family ones in here. My last trading card container got full, so I think I'll use this for doubles maybe. And I've been getting a lot of DMs asking about selling my doubles and different things and I'm not against it, but I would like to do it in an organized manner. So that's why I've been talking about my D stash a lot. I'm thinking in December, I'm gonna make maybe like little sets or bundles and list them in a shop. Maybe I'll set up a Shopify or something. I'm not sure. We're gonna figure that out. Some more stationary stuff. These were new to me, little fruit stickers, strawberries and lemons. I love citrus fruits. So I had to get those. 
And then I'm not really one to use a lot of florals. And I kind of want to because I see so many pretty like journal layouts and letter videos. And I thought these might be easier to use. I can use them as like borders and frame stuff with them. So there were four different packs of those. If you want to see the lineup here, they are yellow, purple, pink, red, and then kind of light colors, I guess. Oh, this is resin stuff. Hold on. That got mixed in there. And then they kindly made just like little frames for your cards. Each pack comes with four frames and some stickers. And I thought that's really good for beginners. So maybe I'll give that a go. Maybe I'll decorate the doubles that I'm sending to my friend. Put them in little sleeves. That'd be fun, right? I actually got these to put the doubles in because I told my friend not to watch my video. He's already uploaded his card opening video, so I know which ones I have that he needs. And I think I'm gonna make little blind bags for him to open up on, um, not stream, in his videos. But yeah, I thought that'd be fun. Trading card blind bags. I went through the resin corner. It does feel like it's getting smaller and smaller each time, but I did find these cute kitty charms. Honestly, I may have some of them, and this one's bent. That's weird. But, um, yeah, I looked into opening my Etsy back up for December, and shipping right now is insane from Japan. Apparently, um, airmail, you can only send letters. They're not letting you send, like, little bubble mailer packages and stuff. It's, like, only paper. So, I don't know. I, I know you guys don't want to pay, like, $20 for, like, one little keychain. And that's what EMS shipping would be. So, I'm gonna try to figure out something. Oh, this was the highlight for me. The dollar stores, Daiso and Sedia, have been selling cute little miniatures lately. But, I did not realize they had a whole lineup of 1 12th scale. Apparently this comes with a little drawer that comes out, that's cute. But um, I got some extras because I want to try my hand at repainting them. I actually got a painting booth in, in 2020 during COVID because I thought I was going to make miniatures, paint miniatures. <laughs> um, I never have. My painting booth is still just sitting on my desk and I have a really nice airbrush. So I thought maybe these would be good to practice on. Whoops! But also, I have been crafting tiny food lately, um, kind of behind the scenes, just practicing and trying to get back into it. I got these because I thought they looked like Disneyland benches. Um, I need to pull out my Nendoroids and see if they'll work on this. I think Nendoroids are, I mean, they're not scaled scaled, but I think they're like 1 8 scale? I'm not sure. But like Sylvanian families, maybe Nendoroids, and then some of the gotcha figures I get would look cute on here. So, got three benches, two tables. This is just, it's called a living table, like a little coffee table, living room table. That's cute. That'll be cute to put food on. Two dressers, and they seem to be pretty well made. I mean, uh, the colors, like obviously painting on details and stuff would make it much, much better, but as far as the base, it's very detailed and the drawers and stuff come out, so definitely can be used as doll furniture. I got some shelves, they call these color boxes here, these three pocket shelves, and they come with the little storage pockets, so these will be fun. I think they'll look good with Nendoroids. And I got some chairs. I mean, looking at this size, don't you think little figures would look good on that? They might be too small for like, mm, Figma style characters. I have some stools as well. Oh, and I also got this. It is, oh, I think it's sealed shut, but it is a locker. They only had it in this color. Apparently it comes in other colors as well, but if any of you play Splatoon 3, you'll know that we all get our own lockers, and I thought it might be fun to decorate it. We'll see, but it was 100 yen, so I grabbed it. I have some other things here. I got some new zippies. They had I don't know how new new these are, but some Sanrio little Ziplocs and some Pikachu ones, Pom Pom Pudding, Cinema Roll, Kuromi, and then Sanrio characters. And I thought these would be good because I'm going to be trading cards with my friends and I want to make um, stationary packets again. I don't know if you guys remember, 
but um, I used to do that on stream and I would send them out to you guys. Another thing that I think would be fun to get back into, plus you can never have too many little zippies to put things in. So replenishing that stock. Oh, and I've got some memos. I, I guess I've seen these before, but for some reason the little twin stars one caught my eye and this little Smiko Gurashi one. I thought the designs were really cute on it. You know me and stationery, cannot resist. Oh, and I found this. It's a Sanrio Characters 3D panel. It's just number one. I think there are others. This was the last one there. So these might be a little bit popular. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to find the others, but this is a theme park one. And I don't know, I thought maybe it would look cute on the toy shelf. If not, you know, maybe we could just have fun putting it together. We'll see what kind of quality it is. My background cloth keeps moving. Um, they had a bunch of new Sanrio washi tapes out. And, oh, it comes with four meters. I was gonna say, it looks like a skinnier roll, but I think the, the tube inside is larger. Um, I've been talking about this for months. I have so many washi tapes that need to be swatched right now and organized. So again, December is gonna be a good month for getting things all organized and neat for journaling in. 2023. I've actually gotten my toy room and office cleaned up quite nicely. It's just, you know, getting all the clutter sorted out now. So we're going to work on that together. You'll be seeing these in a swatching video soon. The rest is actually food. I have a bag of supermarket snacks I got. I'm putting together Christmas boxes for my friends. And um, a lot of you are making plans to visit Japan, are visiting Japan. Maybe some of these snacks will look good to you and you'll want to buy them. So I'm just going to introduce them all real quick. These are from the dollar store. It's two for a hundred yen and it's a little taiyaki wafer. Um, it has like the bubbly airy chocolate inside. These are actually pretty yummy. Um, I got some of these for my friend. She's a big Disney person. You don't see Ufufis in the Disney store anymore, but I'm really glad to see that they're still using the art. And apparently these are little white chocolate eggs with gummies inside. I, I don't know. I don't know how these are gonna taste, but it was cute, so I grabbed them. My friend requested these because these are delicious. They're like little digestive biscuits with milk chocolate on them and I found the Disney designs so I got her a box of them. I think there are 15 in here and it was four for 100 yen so they made me go get one more so I would have 16 but this is what they look like. They are so yummy. I know why she asked for these because they are the best. Unsure about these, they are jelly drinks. It says konnyaku pudding and konnyaku is a root but um it's usually used in like jelly. It's like a a gelatin, but it's veggie based. But anyway, um, it's a jelly, but it says it's coffee, milk coffee flavored and pudding flavored. So I don't know. I'm just kind of curious how these are going to taste, but they were Sanrio and I kind of just got them because of the packaging. <laughs> they look like little energy jellies, but yeah, we'll check these out together. I've been wanting to do a little snacky shorts because there's so many fun foods and snacks. I used to do tasting videos. And I guess it'll be kind of similar to that, but that'll be over on my main channel, Larian's Lunchbox. Not very main anymore, but I'm going to be uploading over on there a lot more. So if you're not already subbed, please do. Let's dive into my supermarket haul. I actually forgot to buy cereal for myself because I found these, but these I would say are just a snack. These are choco flakes. They're corn flakes covered in chocolate, but covered in a lot of chocolate and these are a delicious snack. I've never seen the bitter chocolate one, so I got both, and these are just good to munch on. My friends always ask why I don't send Pocky when I send them boxes, but I feel like you can find Pocky anywhere now, so I got them this new to me one. It's whole wheat pretzels, I guess, and with a lot of butter. I think they're gonna be tasty, they look good. I mean, they say tasty on them, so they gotta be tasty, right? Another thing I got for myself, these are pretzel chocolates. Bourbon does crackers, cookies, and like chocolate really well, I found. So um, chocolate covered pretzels, you don't really see them here in Japan. I thought I'd give them a go. This is another favorite, it's called Black Thunder. It's a chocolate bar with like Oreo chocolate and little Krispies, and honestly, these are the best. They're actually really filling too. I got my friend a bag of Hershey's donuts and 
they're just, you know, packaged donuts, but these are weirdly delicious. I think it's the chocolate frosting on them. And my friend actually requested the matcha ones, but I haven't been able to find them. But it says Japan Limited. These are so good. If you see these in a supermarket, try them. Trust me, they're good with milk, coffee, tea, anything. These are some of my favorites. These are like old people snacks. Like you'd find them at your grandma's house. But um, it's also by Bourbon. This is the company name. It doesn't mean that there's alcohol in it. Um, they're called crepe cookies and they're these really, really thin wafers coated in chocolate. I think it's chocolate. Um, it could be like a white chocolate with like a little bit of cocoa. So I don't know if it's just flavoring or what, but these are so good. So I don't know if these are gonna make it all the way to my friends because these are all international packages, but hopefully they'll enjoy the crumbs. One of my friends is obsessed with Jagariko. These are just potato sticks. And look at the packaging. I've never seen this one before. It's so cute. This is the cheese flavored one. They have other flavors, but I think cheese is the best. Another staple that I always get requests for are these cup noodle curry flavored ones. If any of you have watched Yudu Camp or Laid Back Camp, you'll know that Bean loves to take these with her and she should because they're delicious. This is my favorite flavor too. I actually like the normal curry better than the cheese one, but I thought I would let my friends compare and decide which they like better. One last thing for the adults, it is a sawa, they call them here. It's just a little kind of cocktail, canned cocktail, I guess. This is a seasonal one, it's yuzumitsu sawa. It's basically a lemon and honey. And it's gonna be fizzy, I believe they usually are. Yeah, they are. And it's 3% alcohol and it's called Horoyoi. This brand's really good. They have a lot of good flavors. If you like sweet alcoholic drinks, and you're over the age of 20 here in Japan, you can buy these and yeah, I grabbed the seasonal flavor because it was new. Anyway, I think that's it. We have gone through everything. If you want to see these snacks, make sure you're subscribed to my Lorian's Lunchbox channel. I'm going to have new art going up on all the channels, so you're going to want to see that. It's so cute. I've already seen a lot of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. This was just me going crazy at the dollar store and supermarket. If you have any fun snacks from your country, I would love to see them. Tweet me, join my Discord, and post them in our Foodies channel. We have so much fun over there. Um, you all need to join us. But yeah, that's all for today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!